Hey, this is Web Suspect, and I'm doing laundry, so you'll have to forgive the background noise, but I'm going to counter uh, Caliber's video on Facebook. will be at YouTube for top video sharing. At the very least, there will be no name calling involved because Caliber and I understand each other. And unlike the other quote unquote hoes in the truth movement, Caliber and I understand uh, monkey behaviors. Uh, monkeys mostly live in social groups, so there will be no feces hurling. Uh, hmm. So I guess we'll play a little bit of it, and then and then I'll get on to the monkey business. Hey, how's it going? It's hey, like I was saying, Facebook is gonna overtake YouTube in the uh, video sharing uh, marketing aspect within a year or Hello two. Hello there, I am a fat little girl. Hey, that's where all the videos are getting uploaded to. This is where the new viral videos are popping up. It's not going to be YouTube anymore, it's going to be Facebook. And you can see this uh, happen. Facebook will overtake YouTube within a year. Or two. Little girl sitting on your porch, thank you very much Why for giving me these delicious walnuts. I like them very much. You are a nice person. I will be sure to come back tomorrow to get some more walnuts. You are my favorite person in the neighborhood. I like you, like you, love you. And I like this move. Uh, on Facebook, you have more freedom. It's hard for people to flag videos there. You see a whole bunch of shit on Facebook. So, check out this article. Why YouTube should fear Facebook Inc.'s NFL deal. And I don't know why they're moving to this, making Facebook the new video sharing platform. But uh, you can kiss YouTube goodbye. They flopped with Google Plus. So the general problem with YouTube versus Facebook is uh, they're both out there trying to get large portions of money for their IPOs, their internet public offerings, and their stock markets, but uh, they have uniquely different marketing angles. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg said a squirrel dying in your front of your house may be relevant to your interests right now than people in di dying in Africa. So you want to go to YouTube and type uh, Ted squirrel Zuckerberg there's a whole video on this it's uh what they talk about is analytics it's basically you know I've talked about analytics before where uh, before it was the right column on YouTube and whenever I figure out the analytics they move it somewhere else so on your YouTube analytics uh, there's a couple of videos here on Ted and the whole Zuckerberg thing you want to find the one that I'm was talking about it basically what Facebook does is they don't want you to find videos that are relative to changing the world. Uh, Zuckerberg, there's a, a number of people who, in this quote-unquote truth movement, and then there's cheerleaders or whatever and interferers. Zuckerberg is an ardent socialist. He is just there to kind of push you on the way of keeping you cocooned in your own world. So we have different activities that cocoon you in your own world. We have pizza delivery. Uh, you know, you no longer have to go out of your house. You can watch movies at home, so you can go to the drive-in, and nobody talks to their neighbor anymore. And we, uh, Facebook's uh, marketing strategy, they just feed into your cocoon. So you're not going to find... You might find things that, like, say... If uh, your friend, here's one warrior charge up there threatening to kill cops. Alex Jones in InfoWars. Now, InfoWars, you can have what's called banner marketing on Facebook, where you have your little website or whatever, but it's promoted within your community. And Ajax Loans probably is most likely using this. Uh, I could subscribe to it, I haven't tried it yet. Uh, but, like, I have a company in my, this is kind of funny, I have a company in my neighborhood or a local building group who's trying to steal property and I could counter them with a website I made and market that through Facebook if I wanted. Uh, interestingly enough, here here's something on socialism. If we can't all be rich, rich let's all be poor together. Things that, that I'm interested sporadically get put into uh, Facebook. People who are interested in chemical things that might go over somebody else's head, uh, get the chemical structure made into a necklace. Uh, YouTube on the other hand, like I said before, they're more 
they're more quiet about how they're going to push their marketing schemes on you. Uh, at the top, they're pushing the interview. They know that's being talked about in my social group from Sony Pictures, so they could kill two birds with one stone. I, I don't really want to see that stupid movie. Then there's people in my social group, Caliber Hitters. And, of course, the whole thing is locked up. They, uh, YouTube is very difficult because they're so flash intensive. It will lock up your memory and your CPU no matter how much power you have. Marishima videos that you've watched before and we're looking for things that wind up in your in your channel that you didn't really subscribe to they keep changing the format for that so down at the bottom we have popular right now cops turn on de Blasio funeral these are all things that were put into your channel that you didn't ask for now that may fall into analytics, it may fall into things that you're interested in, and it may fall into things that are just promoted. Usher, I don't mind Fort Juicy. Now how did an Usher video get in? Well, it's listed under popular, so it's just slid right in there. Berkeley officer involves shooting. I don't really want to watch videos, you know, of shootings, but yet somehow that falls into the realm of things that I'm interested in. But I would say... YouTube does a better job of organizing videos than Facebook. If I want to find a particular video on YouTube, I could type in, you know, whatever video I'm looking for. Let's say, how, how wars attacks. And it'll be like 20 videos of how wars attacking something. Uh... ISIS remove the mask, hell wars, Freemasons riot, versus, you know, if I went to Facebook and I typed in hell wars attacks, I wouldn't really find anything related to that search, I don't think. So, I mean, to sum up my video, I think before it's all said and done, most companies fail the first year. I don't know if it's 55 or 75 percent of companies that fail the first year. I'll type that up in the top here. Percentage of companies that fail. So, you know, large amounts of money are being staked into Google and YouTube and Facebook. Although most of the money, I would say, has been put into Google, and Google has been around for a long time. Google was around 15 years ago when the Internet was first getting started, and Facebook's only been around for five or six years. So, And Facebook has got $100 million or something to start off, and, and versus Google's got billions of dollars. Now, Google has no business plan. Google slash YouTube... The best thing they've done is is offer Android for phones, but that has not made them literally very little money and probably a lot of lawsuits. Uh, nine out of ten new businesses fail, as Ron Paul claims. Rather than nine out of ten businesses failing, 50% 50 survive out of four or five years. Even that percentage may be overstated depending on the definition of failure. Investing in a new business does not certain level of risk. Um, that includes Google and Facebook. Because there's companies that have been around 100 years. A General Motors started failing 3 or 4 years ago and had to be out. Uh, Chrysler started failing 20 years ago and had to be bailed out. Uh, 80 or 90 percent of all the car companies that were making cars in the United States... 50 years ago were gone. There's uh, tons of car companies in America who've come and gone. And see, that's where I'm different. And even even a lot of people that I talk to or Caliber talks to are different. That's different than what you're going to get from AMTV. You're not going to get facts from Green TV and AMTV. And might not you might sometimes but might not get facts from the Ajax and Lynn show. And 
you know, our society as Americans should be based empirically on facts. These are all American companies who made cars. You see how long that list is? And you talk about 100 years from now or 10 years from now, if Google or Facebook are still going to be around, I can list, label some very big uh, computer companies, uh, CompUSA and Computer City, that are gone. And right around the time that all the computer companies were eating each other, Apple almost ate it. If it wasn't for Steve Jobs, Apple would have totally been gone. Sears. At one time, Sears made cars. Did you know that? Can you read that fast? I had no idea that Sears made cars. So, you could you can put that in your pipe and smoke it. Um, Facebook will give you videos that your friends made. Facebook will give you videos from Sony that Sony promoted. Facebook will not give you any videos that you look for. Sorry, we couldn't find any results for this match. Um, so that's my opinion of why uh, Facebook will not beat YouTube. If YouTube is on the way out for censoring videos, then it's going to have to be some other company that has servers. Uh, there's some new server technologies coming out to handle this. Um, it'll have to be some other technology. The technology behind YouTube is simply that videos are conver converted to macromedia flash and stored in a database and played on a, a web page. So, those are the three components that you need to make YouTube. It sounds really complicated, but it's not. You start talking about what does it take to make YouTube go away. And we have five or ten companies that we kicked around that compete with it, like Vimeo and, you know, uh, you know the one that streams videos off your Android device. Put you put what you think in the comments below.